So here we are in the Pokemon Colab Notebook. It's a typical notebook. You see on the left-hand side all of the instructions that we're going to go through. And then on the right hand are all of the cells that we need to run. So the first step, we want to verify the runtime is GPU. So this command is going to show us our GPU or some other GPU. If you don't see a GPU, go to the menu, click Runtime, and then change runtime type. Here you can see I'm running a Tesla V100 GPU. You might get a slightly different response. It might say P100. Or if you haven't yet signed up for Google Colab Pro, you might get something like a K80. All right, moving on. Let's mount our Google Drive. This is important because we're going to store all of our results on the Google Drive. Click the URL. Click Allow, copy the code, and paste the code and enter. After a moment, the Google Drive will be mounted under Drive, My Drive. OK, let's go on and install all the prerequisites that we need for StyleGAN. All right, everything's installed. Let's get the StyleGAN code. We're copying it from GitHub. And let's make some directories for our datasets and then change directory or CD into the datasets directory. Download the Pokemon dataset of images. Unzip that file. Let's get rid of these extra files we don't need, and then change directory up a directory. All right, now we're going to actually prepare the data set of images so that it can be used by StyleGAN. It's basically creating a new zip file that we will use with the StyleGAN code. All right, now we're going to create folders to store our results on our Google Drive. Note that I've already run this before, so these directories already exist in my drive. All right, now we can finally start training our Pokemon model. So let's run the training script. Here you can see a lot of output. The first part of this output just shows the options that you're using to train the StyleGAN model. The first time you run this script, it's going to need to set up some plugins, and this will take a little while. While you're setting up those plugins, you can look at some of these configuration variables, like we have one GPU, 4,700 images. Dataset X flips means that we're just doubling our data set by flipping the images across the vertical axis. All right, the plugins are set up now, and we're actually starting to run the training. First, it's going to export some sample images into our new Pokemon directory. Here is the output line for the first tick. In other words, it's already gone through a number of iterations and it's trained for this many KIMG, or thousands of images, 0 0.1, how long it took, how many seconds it takes for each tick, how many seconds it takes for each KIMG, or thousands of images. If you're running a V100 GPU, it should take about 130 seconds for each um, thousand images. If you're on a P100, it might take 300 and something seconds. If you're on a K80, it might take 1,000. I'm not sure. Every once in a while, the script does maintenance, which means it's outputting log files or image files or networks. How much memory we're using for the CPU and GPU. And now if we look in the directory, you can see that the training has created a new directory. I've already run this a few times, so the new directory is 17 here. And you can see we've already created a lot of files. 
The reels.png is samples from our original data set. So here you can see a sampling of the Pokemon I have in my original data set. The fakes.png is generated images from the network at its current state. So since we just began training, this is just going to be a bunch of random fields of color because the generator hasn't yet learned how to make Pokemon. As training progresses, you'll see that the fakes images look more and more like our original data set. Now these image files are very big, um, so it might take a while to download them. While we're waiting for the image to download, let's just look at the command that we're running, the train command. So it's a Python script, and it has a lot of arguments. The outdoor is the output directory, and that's set to our Google Drive Machine Learning for Artists Pokemon folder. The data is set to our current Pokemon data set. Um, we only have one GPU, and then come some settings that we can change in style again. Uh, gamma, Aug pipe, and con configuration. We also have mirror, which means we're going to do those X flips that I talked about earlier. Snap is set to 10. So every 10 ticks, we're going to save a fakes image and a network snapshot. So that stands for snapshot. And then we're not storing metrics. Metrics is a good way to determine how your training is going, but it also slows us down. So for this demonstration, we're not going to use it. All right, you see we're getting more log entries for each tick. And the first generated image has finally loaded. And you can see it's just random fields of color. This is how all trainings are going to start out. I hope you'll run this script for a while. And as the fakes images are generated, you'll see that they come to look more and more like our Pokemon data set. I think you could run this script for maybe two hours or three, maybe go get some lunch and come back and then stop the script. Okay, I'm stopping the script and now I'm gonna move on to our transfer learning section. Transfer learning is using a data set of your own with a network model that has already been trained. So now we're gonna take a Pokemon model that I already trained, and we're going to train it using a Tomogachi data set. So let's change directory or CD back into our data sets directory. We're going to download the data set for Tomogachi, unzip that file, get rid of the annoying macOS directory, and change directory or CD up a directory to our StyleGAN directory. Now we'll prepare the data set so that StyleGAN can use it. Now we'll load the pre-trained Pokemon model. This is the model that can already kind of generate Pokemon. And now we will begin training using the Pokemon model with the Tamagotchi data set. All right, so we're running the training. You see a new argument here, it's resume. And resume just means use an existing model to start training. So the model I'm using is the Pokemon model. And the output directory is our Tamagotchi directory within our machine learning for artist directory in our drive. For data, we are using the Tamagotchi data set. And again, we just have one GPU and the same style GAN settings as before. Also with snap or snapshot set to 10. Every 10 ticks, we output images and a network model. So let's see how our training is going. 
in the directory Tamagotchi, you'll see that I've already run this before, but in the latest folder, you'll see under fakes, here are the images generated from the existing Pokemon model. They don't really look like Pokemon at this point, but that's as far as I got training it. So this is what our model can already generate. Next, let's look at the actual data set that we're training. This is the Tamagotchi data set. And we can also run this for a few hours and just see how far we get, see how close we get to actually generating Tamagotchi. And when you're done, just click stop on the training cell. Now at the end of this exercise, you'll notice that the Pokemon and Tamagotchi folders are taking up a lot of space on your Google Drive. So you might want to just delete these directories entirely. You can do that here by clicking on the three dots and clicking delete folder, or you can go into Google Drive and delete it there. That's it. I hope you have fun training.